Hi, this is Brent Bozell. Today, I wholeheartedly endorse Ted Cruz for President of the United States and urge all conservatives nationwide to rally behind Ted immediately. Now, there's some good conservatives running for president, but we need more than a campaign conservative. We need a consistent conservative who has led the fights important to us. Ted Cruz is this leader. I support Ted Cruz for president unconditionally and enthusiastically. All right, there you go. And the man himself is joining us right now, Brent Fozell, president of the Media Research Center. Hello, sir. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Good. Good to talk to you. Okay, so, um, I mean, it was kind of obvious from that uh, clip, but uh, please uh, be more specific. What led you to, of all the uh, candidates, and there were some, uh, you know, other strong conservatives in that group, what led you to Ted Cruz? Sure. Uh, but first, Steve, let me preface this by making a comment about the state of free speech in America today. Please. I have to give you this disclaimer. That was a personal endorsement for America has not endorsed. And you mentioned Media Research Center, which can endorse. And we have to go through all these stupid machinations because of the limits we have on free speech in America today. So why did I, what I, did I personally, if you're listening to this IRS, uh, endorse Ted Cruz? For the simple reason that there are some very good conservatives in this race. There are a half a dozen I could support, some of them enthusiastically. But there's only one. There's only one for whom I have no questions. I have no questions about why he needs to explain this past vote. What is he going to do if he's elected on this? What exactly is his position on that? Why did he once say this and now he says that? I have that kind of question with every other candidate. You don't have that question with Ted Cruz. Listen to his answer on Kate's Law in the debate where he was asked about it. Not only did he have a program going forward if elected president, but he showed he led the fight when he was a senator. So he's got a record before and a specific promise on what to do after. And the most important thing to me is he's going to do what he says. Every we, We've been, since Ronald Reagan, we have been playing with presidencies, with Republican presidencies, where they go on the campaign trail and they promise one thing and they go to Washington and, and they do another. In the House and the Senate, you're seeing it from all the leaders. You know with Ted Cruz, what he says he's going to do, by God, he's going to do. How do you account for the fact that, uh, that uh, Jeb Bush has, uh, I don't know, you know, before this all started, everybody said Jeb Bush is going to be the guy to beat and now he's fallen to seventh place in one, uh, one of the states in one of the polls. Uh, does that surprise you? I plead not guilty. I said from the beginning <laughs> that he was going to win. No, it doesn't surprise me. I'll tell you why. Uh, we saw it in the debate in Cleveland. Uh, look, if you look at the video, the visual of Jeb Bush, he's an affable man. It's a very pleasant face. When I hear that he went to Mass before the debate, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Catholic. That, that to me is very touching. But now, can you tell me anything he said in that debate? No. No, that's the point. That's the point. It's marshmallow. This is a marshmallow candidacy. This is a man who really isn't talking about anything except for that which goes against conservative principles. Common core. Um, immigration is another one, which, by the way, he's waffling on now. Um, he's endorsed his father's tax increases, for goodness sakes. Um, these are things... <laughs> That are, that are poison pills in a Republican primary, which explains why he's at, what, 5% in one poll. Now, he has been saying, I know his advisors are saying, look, do the, go the John McCain route. Let all the conservatives go into a circular firing squad, and you'll come out. And I think that might be his play right now. Plus, he's got $100 million. But he's got two problems on that one. One is called Chris Christie, and the other one is called John Kasich, both of whom did quite well. Forget Lindsey Graham. Those two did quite well. And they are take, they're going for the same spot that he's going for. So it's not going to be easy at all for him. What about uh, Donald Trump? What's your take on him? I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, by, by, all, by all accounts and measures, he has gone further than people thought. I'll be, you know, I thought after his comments that he made about Senator McCain, I thought he was toast. So did I. Uh, so did and, I. And, and, and veterans, veterans supported him on this. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's just, I, I keep saying that this, this bubble's going to burst. It hasn't so far. But when he's making statements now, like he did a plan about Planned Parenthood, where he would fund some of the good things Planned Parenthood does, you know, that, that makes you wonder, 
look, come on. If, if, if you think that, then you don't think what Planned Parenthood has been doing. Brent, here's is another one. He, and and I, I did a whole commentary on this yesterday, begging for someone to tell him this. You can't keep saying you're for the exemption for the health of the mother because that, that renders any pro-life legislation or bill or limitation moot. Uh, and, and he's got to know that. Someone's got to tell him that to stop saying life and lumping it in with health because then, he, then he's got Debbie Wasserman Schultz's take on abortion. Yeah, it's, it's slippery. It's slippery. The question is, is it deliberate? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I, know, I mean, I'd be surprised if it were. I don't, I don't think let, that it's deliberate. Let, listen to what he said last night on, uh, on Hannity's program where he talked about very openly um, and, and Brad boasted about giving money to the Clinton Foundation because he's buying access, and yeah. that's the game. Brent, I got to tell you, we shall see what we shall see. The uh, president, the founder of For America, Brent Fozell. Thank you, sir. Up next, former Congressman Tom Tancredo joins us. Don't go away.